Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today, Russia's fury at Britain, death by hanging of Putin enemy blamed on MI5 or MI6, Russia has claimed that the London death of Vladimir Putin enemy Nikolai Glushkov last month may have been an operation by the British secret services. This came as Moscow lodged a formal demand for Britain to provide the Kremlin with information on the Scotland Yard murder inquiry into the death. The ex Aerofloat executive was found by his daughter Natalia, 34, strangled at his home in New Malden, southwest London, on March 12. His death came eight days after the nerve agent poisoning of ex spy Sereji Skripal, 66, and his daughter Yulia, 33, in Salisbury. The poisoning is seen by Britain and other Western countries as very likely an attempted assassination by Russia, but Moscow has blamed it on a provocation by MI5 or MI6. Glushkov, 68, living in exile in Britain, was close to Boris Berezovsky, an arch foe of Putin, who died from hanging in unexplained circumstances in Berkshire in 2013. Unconfirmed reports suggested Glushkov's 27-year-old boyfriend Denis Trushin was with Natalia when she found his body. Russia has now submitted a formal request for legal assistance regarding the murder investigation. The move by the Russian Prosecutor General's office is under the European Convention on Mutual Assistance in Criminal Matters 1959, said the Russian embassy in London. Numerous attempts of the embassy to obtain coherent answers from the Foreign Office, or Scotland Yard, in line with the international obligations of the UK, have failed, said a statement. What causes bewilderment is the fact that the investigation is being conducted in secrecy and the British side is absolutely refusing to engage with Russia. This was labelled unacceptable in terms of diplomacy and international law. Such blatant violation of accepted norms outlined in international agreements has no rational explanation, unless we are dealing with another operation by the British Secret Services. The Metropolitan Police said Glushkov's mysterious death had been from compression of the neck. Glushkov had been sentenced in absentia to eight years jail in Russia over alleged £87 million embezzlement of Aeroflot funds, a conviction he claimed was politically motivated by Putin's government. Last week Aeroflot abandoned high court proceedings in London against the businessman, a move his grieving family welcomed. The conclusion of this particular case is one less matter for the family to deal with moving forward, they said in a statement. Russia has also criticized Metropolitan Police Commissioner Cressida Dick for being complicit in what it sees as a British cover-up. Despite the fact that the Foreign Office had directly suggested that we discuss Mr. Glushkov's case with Scotland Yard, the embassy has not received any reply from Miss Dick, said an earlier statement. Last month Scotland Yard said, a murder investigation was launched on Friday, March 16 following the result of a post-mortem examination, which gave the cause of death as compression to the neck. Mr. Trushin who speaks fluent English and Russian, works as a marketing and brand consultant. He set up a luxury goods business in Azerbaijan with Natalia. Glushkov's son Dmitry, 39, lives in Russia. Glushkov was the reason that Andrei Lugovoy later identified as the killer of Putin foe Alexander Litvinenko in London served a 14-month jail sentence in Russia. This extraordinary link, dating back to 2001, adds sinister intrigue to the latest mysterious Russian death in Britain. At the time, before his exile, Glushkov had been jailed for defrauding Aeroflot. Lugovoy was head of a security for a TV station partly owned by Berezovsky a close associate of Glushkov. Apparently acting for Berezovsky, ex-FSB man Lugovoy attempted to spring Glushkov from jail during a hospital visit. His audacious scheme was foiled, and was imprisoned for 14 months. But Glushkov always suspected Lugovoy was conniving with the FSB, and believed the escape ploy may even have been a bid to keep him behind bars longer. Lugovoy's jail term was subsequently and mysteriously cut short. As soon as he was freed he started a major business empire including a security firm, which would make him a millionaire. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.